And Michael Fullen says, change takes five to seven years. It takes five to seven years. And I've had workshops and people have said, this is great, Jen, but I can't wait. I don't know how to make it happen any faster, but I can honestly say working in my system with the same administrators, everybody staying on course, doesn't mean we don't tweak and readjust our goals, good things happen. I think of a teacher. I remember the, I think you have to talk about change before you ever even get to do change. This is so simple. End of the year study group, we talk about what's your goal, what's one thing you're gonna put in practice. She says, I'm gonna work in my classroom library. I'm gonna change it. I thought, thank goodness, because it's horrible, right? We get back to next September, her library is the exact same way, she didn't touch it. And the next year, what does she say? I'm gonna change my study group. This time she bought bins. This time I watched the bins on her bookshelf for an entire year. She didn't change it. Third year, she comes back. She changes her classroom library. She did, it, 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 first she had to talk about it, then she had to think about it for years. It started in the study group though. It started by watching all the other classrooms, looking at video of Amy Buckner's classroom, looking at Debbie Miller's classroom, looking at different classroom environments. But she finally started, and that wasn't even our topic, thinking I can really think about my classroom environment. So I wish it could happen faster, but what I find is it takes years. Which another point is, I also find that by offering the different layers, the learning of a teacher doesn't pop up in the same layer. Okay? So for example, I had a teacher, so the same teachers who come to study groups really happy are not always the same teachers who come to the staff meetings or our professional development is happy. So I remember one teacher came to professional development. At that time, we were talking about um, reading strategies as adults, ways to hold our thinking. I had suggested that we, would, we were reading the book, The Glass Castle, which is a memoir. We had highlighters and different ways we could hold our thinking, that good readers ask questions and answer questions. She sits down and she said, I don't ask questions as a reader and I don't write in books. I thought, well, this is not gonna go too well. <laughs> this is the same teacher who loved coming to study groups, okay? So if you only saw that situation, you would say it was definitely a resistant learner. You know, you see that whole going back to those, there you are, district in service, that would be our professional development staff meeting. She did not have a choice. She did not want to write in her book. She made that note. However, okay, so here you are. But what happened the following year, that next September, she comes back. She happened to be in the study group by Stephen King on, on his book on writing. She walks into the first meeting, opens up her book, and says, Jen taught me how to hold my thinking. It's completely highlighted in writing. If you didn't see that situation, that other layer, you may not have known that the teacher did make a change. It takes what I know about this teacher. The first thing she's going to do is kind of put her heels in the ground and be really vocal about it doesn't like it, doesn't want to change, not sure it's going to work. But what I also know about this teacher is give her time, give her time to try it out quietly, give her time to talk to colleagues, she'll come around and she'll give everybody else credit for her learning, and it will embrace it. So that's another thing to me that really shows the values, the, the value of different layers, giving people different opportunities to show their learning. They're not always going to show it at a staff meeting. So, um, it does take time. That's a long answer to a Thank short you. question. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me it's once a month, not once a week. Oh, yeah. Four it's, study groups a week, that's a lot. That's it's, no, once it's really month. once a month, and I'm very strategic in how I set them up in the sense that I do them Thursdays. So pretty much I always know that I'm late on Thursdays, and I do Mondays. So really, those are the two days that I have my study groups, um, so that I'm not spread out every day. Um, so yeah, I don't, I'm okay with every Thursday. I just have a different study group. That, that makes a lot. Is that, is that better? Yeah. No, that would that would really send me over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you talk a little bit more about maybe the strategic ways that you need to work with the administrator? I feel like it's very important that you mentioned the relationship that you're building with the teacher and giving them time to change. But I also believe in pressure and support. And so, you know, the supervision and evaluation piece, that the administrator piece, has got to be fitting. Um, I'm thinking, can I talk about it in a little while? Sure. I'm, but I will. I mean, in terms of, um, I work really closely, I'll, I'll do it quickly with the administrators. So that, but I also believe people are patterns that if somebody does it once, give them a break. But if they're going to keep doing a behavior or poor practice, they're going to keep doing it. And that I don't need to, um, as a coach, worry about that because my 
administrator mm. is evaluating them, and that's her role. The other thing is that we are pretty clear on what our curriculum is in terms of our curriculum, so that the administrator is going in to check on the curriculum, support the curriculum. I'm going in to support the teacher of the curriculum. So if we're all doing our job, working on curriculum, supporting one another, so in terms of coach, that, that gets done. And I'm not sure if that helps mm -hmm. it. So the, I guess my point is that I'm responsive to needs. I'm not a fix-it model. So if there's an issue with a teacher, I'm not there to fix them in any way. That's an evaluative issue. And that's something, again, that's really clear with my administrator in my own role. Um, and that, that's the administrator's job is to put that pressure on. I'm the good guy in the process most of the time. So, does that help? Does that yeah. answer? I guess but I can so. hear you saying that the, the principal's being real clear with staff about the curriculum and what needs to be delivered in the curriculum. We are very clear. I mean, that's a you are coming along providing the support to help the teachers be able to do that well. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty clear on we are, we have moved over the last several years in terms of our alignment of curriculum to Common Core and where we are. There are clear expectations of where we are in the curriculum because we really do believe in a consistent curriculum is get, get us growing in the same direction. So that's not a negotiable for the whole staff. There's choices within our school, choices within our layers, but there's also a lot of non-negotiables that we believe need to move forward. So. And the principals are in a lot of things. Even though they're not in study groups, when I work on curriculum development, I was, I, when I take full teachers, we are always working in groups, making meaning together. That's something we talk about. And when I do a day, it's very common for it to be free floating. So meeting, the assistant superintendent comes in, the curriculum coordinator comes in. Principals from both buildings will come in, and this week, the special ed director came in. They may not stay the whole day, but they are coming in. So when we do curriculum work, and we're doing development, everybody is involved, no matter where you are, kind of on the hierarchy within our school. And it's almost, I wanna say, the administrators are there because they know everybody else is coming. And the teachers, that values the teacher's work, but the administrators value the work. Um, so that's been a shift, that we're in this together, um, and that is important. That means administrators need to clear their day for this work. I just feel like we're on the same team. On. What was that? They need to learn what's going on, too. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like we're on the same team working together. Yeah. I really do. And, and just, it's communication. I don't know. And everybody has important things, and I realize things come up in everybody's days, but that's really something one of our goals is. 